My name is Jason Collier, the Support Operations Manager here at GitLab. Um, the second video will be covering what Zendesk looks like to an end user. Uh, we'll be covering accessing the support portal for the first time, submitting a ticket, accessing and working with your tickets, organization requests, notifications, and troubleshooting some basic support portal issues. Um, account setup can happen one of two ways. You go to the support portal, submit a new ticket, the account and password will be created for you, then you'll need to do a password reset so you can get logged in. The other way is you click sign up and register, kind of like the traditional registration process. You can keep track of all your tickets and their current statuses using the support web, support web interface. We recommend using the support web interface for a superior support experience when managing your tickets. When an end user wants to submit a support ticket, there are two locations on the support portal homepage. Uh, you've got that one at the top that says submit a support ticket. It looks kind of like a link. And then at the bottom, after some suggestions and search and all that, there's this nice orange button that says submit a support ticket. Either one of those will take you here to the new page, the new request page. Um, here you'll select the form and it'll kind of auto reload and then kind of populate as you fill things out, kind of asking what information we need and all that fun stuff. Once you've submitted your ticket um, towards the bottom, you'll get your submit button. That's how you actually create the ticket. Um, often you want to access to see your ticket. So you basically go to the sign in button. And then once you log in, you'll go over to, uh, yeah, here's some basic information about kind of how to sign in, where you can forget your, or you can, you know, click the forgot password link and all that fun stuff. But uh, once you've actually logged in, you'll click your uh, name in the top right there and click your activities. And that'll take you to the My Activities or Ticket List page. Um, by clicking on a link there, you'll then be at the ticket page. Here you can kind of see information, post new comments, attach new files. Uh, the, uh, abil the Where you would put the comment is towards the bottom of the ticket. And that's also where the orange submit button will be. The submit a request you see on the right side there would be for a new ticket. Um, occasionally, you'll see organization requests. This comes when you are a shared organization, which means you have heightened per, uh, permissions. Um, there you can see all the requests under your organization. Um, if you have comment capabilities, you can even, then even comment on the ticket in question. If you don't see that organization request and it is something you want, reach out to your technical account manager, your account manager, or the support team asking about information of getting a shared organization set up for your organization. Um, it's important to know when you get notified, uh, you'll get email notifications when, you know, you create a new ticket, you'll get the kind of initial, hey, we've got your ticket, here's some stuff to know, just generalized information. When a public comment occurs on the ticket that you didn't make, um, you'll get an email letting you know what the comment is and that the ticket's been updated. And then um, when a ticket's been in the solved state for 24 consecutive hours, you'll get a survey from us here at GitLab asking how the ticket went. We uh, use that information to better the support team. So please consider when you get that email submitting the survey. Um, occasionally, you might see some trouble getting into the support portal. We've noticed this happen. So um, I wanted to add this information just to kind of help you out here. Um, the most common one that we've seen is that your browser is blocking third party cookies. Unfortunately, that is something that is needed to work for the support system. Um, a general list of domains, subdomains to kind of allow would be zendesk.com, ZD assets, which is where Zendesk stores static content, and then gitlab.com itself. Um, allowing it with that asterisk dot in front of it says allow the subdomains to. That'll ensure you have a really pleasant working experience with the support portal. Beyond that, you're going to kind of get into your general browser troubleshooting stuff. Um, disable all your plugins, extensions, and add-ons. Disable any themes. Make sure they're not blocking you. Clear your cookies and cache. Try logging into the support portal after that. If you're still having issues, write down your browser's version, type, distro, any other identifying information. Um, generate a HAR file, that process varies wildly from browser to browser. So I would recommend looking that up on Google. And then send this to support. If you're unable to create a ticket at all because of the issues, um, communicate with your technical account manager or your account manager. And if none of that will work, feel free to create a gitlab.com issue um, and send the HAR file and the browser information that way. And that way we can look into it and kind of get you situated. 
that's the basic information. Um, there's all kinds of more stuff you can look and investigate with, but I hope this has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you on the support side.